going to get you started on those ab exercises. The first one we're going to do is the leg raise. So what you want to do is find a nice area, grab onto maybe a piece of furniture or something sturdy. I am using this pole. And what you want to do is keep your legs straight, tighten your abs, hold on to the pole for stability, and then you're going to lift your legs, and do not touch the floor down. Breathe out. You can swing your legs from side to side. Never touching the floor. This next exercise is going to work your side of your abdomen. This usually involves taking a medicine ball from side to side. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can use a milk carton. So you can fill it with as much water as you'd like, and it'll adjust the weight. And you want to sit halfway in an inclined position, your knees together, you're going to take the milk jug or medicine ball if you have one and you're going to go from side, place it down next to you to side. Remember to breathe out on every rep. This exercise works great and it will affirm your sides for you. This next exercise is going to target your lower and side abs. You want to start off with your feet shoulder width apart. Then what you're going to do is hold your hands up and you're going to touch your knee to opposite elbow. One, two, you're going to breathe out. You'll feel the burn. This next exercise is a, just a regular sit-up with a twist. What you're going to do is sit up with a hook and another hook, then back. Up, hook, hook, back. This next routine is an old routine, but it's a good one to engage your core. It's called plank. You get down. I like to bend my elbows a little bit. And you hold this position for at least a minute. You tighten your abs and you try to remain steady the entire time you're holding plank. This next exercise is designed to target your lower abs. It will definitely engage them if you do this one correctly. What you want to do is lay down, lift your feet about six inches off the floor, rotate them in small circles, breathe out on each rotation. This routine is going to utilize your medicine ball or your milk jug again. What you want to do again is stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Grab your milk jug on the opposite side. Grab it with both hands. Make big circles. I usually like to do three and then drop it on the other side. Start back in the same position you started at. Then reach over. Grab it, swing it around, place it next to you, back to the start position. 
This next exercise, you can use whatever you have around the house. I'm using this little ball. So what you want to do is, you lean all, the, you stretch all the way out, and you bring your feet, your legs and feet in. You grab whatever it is that you have that you found, and then you bring them down. Come up, grab it, stretch all the way back out again. Repeat the process. Breathe out. This next exercise, you can use another item that you have around the house, but I got my ball again. What you want to do is put the ball or whatever between your knees, hold it tight, put your hands behind your head, put the ball in your legs up, lift, twist, 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 twist. twist. Twist, 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 twist. Earlier in this video, we did where you go across this ab exercise. Now, what we're going to do is stay on the same side, and we're going to touch same side knee, same side elbow. So you're going to go one, two, one, two. One, two.